Welcome back to Tara's Never Seen. So we've filmed two tonight. So we're watching a Bronx tale now. And um, the only thing I know about this movie is when we went on our first date, you tested me. So that test is where you, you got that test from this movie. Yes. So that's that's all I know about it. And you passed the test with I, flying colors. Apparently, because three years deep, here we are. <laughs> <laughs> I win. <laughs> I love you. I love you. All right, let's watch it. because Let's ready. watch it. He's it's going to be hard for me not to be quoting along and saying stuff, and I'm going to do my best to shut my fucking hole. See, and if it was like Back to the Beach or Labyrinth, I would not be able to do that. Yeah, it's the same thing. So, this is my back to the beach. <laughs> so, here we go. You guys click smash all the things the like button, subscribe button, notification bell. Kevin hates when I do this. Please don't do that. I'll have to edit this. Kevin hates. <laughs> click smash all the things. <laughs> oh my god, it's like a horrible spider of doom. Click smash all the things, the like button, the subscribe button, the notification bell. I can't. <laughs> I can't. I won't be able to edit this. I'm going to have to farm it out. <laughs> it chills me to my core. Gross. Let's do this. Hooray. I think you're going to love this movie. So okay. It'll be a great one. All right. We're All my seconds. favorite stuff again. Violence, alcohol use, smoking, foul language, and sexual content. Absolutely. All of the favorite things. All right. Ready? I'm ready. Three, two, one. Play. Right, you got the note? Yeah, right. Nice and tight. Nice and tight. That's what she said. <laughs> Actually, that's what he said. That's a who's that? I never know. <laughs> this is the Fordham section of the Bronx. My home. A world unto itself. On the streets of the Bronx. Where I wanna be. It was 1960, and doo -wop was the sound on the streets. What a time it was. That's the Shea Bippy. That's where all the guys hung out. That's my building. There's my stoop. All right. And on warm summer nights, you would hear the sounds of young Italian men romancing their women. Hey, Marie, get in the fucking car. No. Is that car pink? Fuchsia, magenta. I love it. And right there, the number one man in the neighborhood, Sonny. And in my neighborhood, he was a god. But he would never even look at me until one day. No. Love you like I do. I love the music already. Wop. I want wop. that car. A wop. That's there. Wop. A wop. 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 Oh my god. Oh, he couldn't roll his window up fast enough. Wop. Oh man. Wop. 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 I'm gonna have to shut up. Every song is a banger. Hey, hey, oh shit. Get him. Yeah. That's me. Kalodja at nine years old. Adorable. Little boy, weren't you supposed to go upstairs? He's about to see something he's not supposed to. Frank Sinatra. Tony was a frustrated singer and everybody hated his voice. <laughs> he would never utter a spoken word. He would only sing it. They called him Tony Toupet because he wore the worst hairpiece in the world. It's pretty bad. If you stare at Jojo long enough, you see him get fatter by the hour. Legend has it, Horrible. his shadow once killed a dog. <laughs> Jesus. Haven't I seen that little kid in stuff? What are you doing here? Didn't we tell you me? Didn't I tell you to come upstairs? Yep. Sonny had five fingers, but he only, only used three. three. I'm not in the mood for steak. Oh, you're not in the mood for steak? Oh. I was about the ball. Tell your father the truth. I was about the ball. So why'd you lie? I took a shot. Wanna do something here? What am I gonna say? Took a shot. Nice try, son. <laughs> <laughs> 
How am I gonna keep him away from the bar? It's like two doors away from the bill. I want you to listen to me. Do not go near the bar. You don't see me go near that bar, do you? Mommy won't let you go there either. What am I gonna do with this kid? Hey, I don't know. I got him all day. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I won't go near the bar. He has got some long eyelashes. Look at them. Look I'm jealous. Eyes. Thick, Super dark. dark eyelashes. Long. Oh, that's a pretty horse. You do somebody now, Big Mouth. Do somebody hard. Big Mouth. Like coffee cake. I can't do coffee cake. That's hard. Put a screen in front of your face while I throw shit at <laughs> These niggas got some balls coming in our neighborhood. They, they just passed through from school. My father told me. Yo, know, my father told me that's how it starts. Get the fuck out of our neighborhood. He was looking at him like, little boy, I know what you're doing. Yep. That's horrible. Stop it. Why? You stay here. Nobody's cooler than you, Sonny. You sure about that? Fuck you, you free hole. You motherfucker. The hell? Oh. Oh. Shit. Hold on here. Sonny, give me the gun. Get the fucking car! Come on! When Sonny looked at me for the first time, I went deaf. All I could see was Sonny with the gun in his hand. That little boy's judging you so hard. At least that's what it looks like. I'm okay. Oh my god, I got so scared. Well, what kind of answer is that? He could have got Just killed. Leave. I've seen the mom and stuff too. Now he's come to talk to him. Police. Good, I'm Detective Belsick. Well, they got there real fast. Well, he don't know nothing about that. Oh, well, we feel he does. There were people who saw him. Well, they're wrong. Oh, not Daddy, I know everything. Son, listen. Here's what I'd like you to do for it. All I want you to do is pick out the person you saw with the gun in his hand. Good. Come on, let's take a walk. Hey, fellas, turn around. Everybody has such a face. Did you say they all have such a face? Yeah, Give there's so answer. many faces in this movie. I love it. It's like they cast the realest people they could find. That guy especially. Jesus Christ. No. Look at me. That's it. Jimmy Whispers. Is it this guy? Look at this guy. How about him? Hey, straight ahead. Is he about to say no? Give me an answer. He's not going to snitch, is he? Because snitches get stitches. <gasps> Satisfied, officer? No, I'm not satisfied. You don't know. We can't Yeah, help yeah, you. I know. Your son doesn't know anything. Yeah, all right. You guys can breathe again. Beat it. We fooled him, Dad. We really fooled him. Yeah, we fooled him. But I didn't rap. No, you didn't rap. I did a good thing, right? I did a good thing for a bad man. I did a good thing for a bad man. I didn't understand that. Not at nine years old. A rat was the lowest thing anyone could be in my neighborhood. And I didn't rat. Snitches get stitches. Why would you say I did a good thing for a bad man? Because sometimes in life you gotta do certain things that you gotta do even though they're not right. Do you understand what I'm saying? No, it's just that. That kid has a head of hair. <laughs> he has got some poofy hair. And it's adorable on his little bitty tiny body. <laughs> See you later, Pop. Get right upstairs, son, and watch the rest of the game. Keep driving, I want to talk to you. Uh-oh. You'd like to do something for you. All you got to do is drop some numbers off us. You're going to get $150 a week. And you're going to have to bus. I got a city job. If I get pinched, I could lose it. I just can't do it. It's not for me, so... That's $150 a week. Son is going to be disappointed. Yeah, he doesn't want any dirty money. They offered me a job today. $150 a week, would you say? Well, I think I said, don't forget it. I don't know. It's not for me. What? Wow, talk about inflation. $600 a month. Yeah, but come on, you know, you get involved with those guys, next thing you know, one, two, three. No, no, no. Yep. I lied about worse than a murder once. I ate me on Friday once. Wait a minute, can you back up a little bit and say that again? <laughs> I ate me on Friday once? No, not that one. I lied about worse than a murder? Yeah, that's the one. Do you realize what you said? It was only once, Father. Do you know what the fifth is? <laughs> Yes, Father, I know what the fifth is. The fifth is I refuse to answer on the grounds that I'm not a criminal. The fifth commandment. <laughs> Nobody's more powerful than God. I don't know about that, Father. Your guy's bigger than my guy up there. My guy's bigger than your new guy down here. You got a point. 
Five our fathers and his <laughs> guy. Yeah. For a murder rap? That's not bad, father. Bye, father. <laughs> start over every week. <laughs> Adorable kid. Hey, kid. Uh uh. Come on, Sonny wants to see you. Come on. We finally meet face to face. Are you afraid of me? No. That's good. What's your name? Clodro. <laughs> That's a big name. You got a nickname or something? No. What do your friends call you? Clodro. That makes sense. So you must be pretty upset after the Yankees lost. Bill Mazeroski. I hate him. He made Mickey Mantle cry. The paper said that the Mick was crying. Mickey Mantle? Is that what you're upset about? Mickey Mantle makes $100,000 a year. How much does your father make? Well, see if your father can't pay the rent. Go ask Mickey Mantle and see what he tells you. Mickey Mantle don't care about you, so why should you care about him? Can I ask you something? Did you shoot that man over a parking space? When you get older, you understand. From that day on, I never felt the same way about the Yankees again. Lucky can one guy be? I kissed her and she kissed me. Like the fella once said, ain't that a kick in the head? I also blame this movie for my gambling abilities. Your gambling abilities? <laughs> yeah. I learned craps because of this movie. Man, never had a fucking number in his life. Never Sounds like we need to go hit up the casino for my I, birthday. I know how to play craps. I, 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 that's how I got my first dog. <laughs> <laughs> I know right. how to play dice, son. It's okay. You don't have to go out of I don't know how to play dice either. I want to play dice and have people throw money at me. <laughs> Honestly, come on. You're breathing all over me, all right? Yeah, stop breathing on him. You're like dripping sweat all over him. Well, fucking jinx. That's why. Here. Put him in a fucking bedroom. Leave him in there. Yeah. Hey, forget about it. <laughs> Jojo, stop fucking breathing on me. You're killing me over here. Yeah, you're killing me, Smalls. Breathing on me, huh? Bobby, put him in the bedroom. You got titty sweat all over your tank top right there, dude. Put him in the bedroom. What is it? Huh? I got 140 no gas. 140 no gas. You Don't worry, son. I'll throw seven. No, no, no. Don't so anybody laughing at this kid, all right? Nobody laughing at him. Nobody laughing at him. No, no. Frankie Coffee Cake, no good. I don't want his face looking at that face when he's throwing my dice. No, no, no. Jimmy, Jimmy, get a towel from the bar. Put him over his head. <laughs> some uh, Put him in the fucking bathroom. Get him out of here. Put him in the fucking bathroom. <laughs> yeah. One more. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Come on, you need a two two on the hot four. You're gonna get cocky. <laughs> hey! Yay! Two two on the hard four. Eleven. I made eleven passes in a row. I don't know how much money Sonny won, but it was a lot. Did he share any of the money with you? And I was going to the best school in the world, the University of Belmont Avenue. For real. And two educations, one from the street and one from school. Yup. Way I'd be twice as smart as everybody. Yup. That's how you do it. Double educated at the same time. Book smart and street smart. Hey kid, you did good. Thanks. Yeah. That's it. That's it. Y'all gonna be best friends. We gotta do something about your name. From now on, your name is C. Go home. Go ahead. My name is C. Look at how he walked up with all his swagger. You don't be nobody with me, kid. Yeah. Don't ever embarrass me like that again. Just tell Sonny that I took care of you. That's a cute old man. Uh-huh. That's when it hit me. It was because of Sonny that everybody was treating me so nice. Yup. I liked it. Uh-huh. I liked it a lot. Mm-hmm. Yeah, power's pretty good. It's nice and sexy. <laughs> Look what I got. Some peaches for free. Uh-oh. Millions of peaches. Peaches for free. It's mine that I've been saving, Dad. Six hundred dollars you've been saving? What'd you become a brain surgeon overnight, sir? Oh. Tell your father where you got the money. Dad, I worked for it. What do you mean things? What things? All things, no things. Hey, just tell me the truth and I won't get upset. Promise? I'm your father. Would I say it if I didn't mean it? I worked the crap games and the class gave me tips. What crap games? What tips? What crap games? I thought you weren't going to get upset, Dad. I lied. Now tell me everything. Come on. Wait a minute. Oh. Listen to me. Lorenzo, please. I see the mom's point of view, but I don't like that she thought the money's hers. It's his. It's little right. Money. Lorenzo, please. It seems like that's my money. Yeah. I earned it. I made 11 passes in a row, you bitch. 
<laughs> you know how hard that is? Dan, it's not what you say, it's what he's seeing. Uh -huh. He tried to throw away his baseball cards the other day because he said Mickey Mantle will never pay my rent. He said that to you? <laughs> That's not funny. Not funny when your nine-year-old kid has a bigger bank account than you do. I offered you a job, but you said no to me. That's right, and I say no now. Don't you see how I treat that kid? I treat that kid like he's my son. He's my son. He's what? He's my son. But this time you're wrong. You don't fool with a man's family. This Just stay, stay away from my son. Go ahead. Oh. Dad, I earned that money. I said I want money. you to stay away from it's him. It's dirty. Dad, I get it. Dad, listen to me. Did you hear what I said? Oh. Just stay away from him. So he was right. The walking man is a, he's a sucker, Dad. He's a sucker. It don't take much strength to pull a trigger, but try and get up every morning, day after day, and work for a living. Let's see him try that. Then we'll see who's the real tough guy. The working man is the tough guy. Your father's the tough guy. Same thing. No, it's not the same. People don't love him. They fear him. There's a difference. Sorry. Poor guy. Poor little kid. He just... He's confused. Yeah. He sees that like his dad gets respect and Sonny gets respect. and it's, why, why is it a bad thing to get respect? Right. But Sonny's respect is definitely fear. Want me to take care of him? Nah, leave him alone. And Sonny and my father never spoke to each other again. And I never listened to my father about staying away from him. The ball was too close and I would sneak away any chance I got. Look at those cars. They're beautiful. Good and they're off. Look at this horse go. Let's go walk. Come on, baby. Let's Take go. it over. Take it over. we can't lose. We can't lose. Come on, Kryptonite. 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 Come In the next race for you. Oh, fuck yourself. Oh, you get very emotional. <laughs> I love mush. Something about him looks like my papa. I think it's the hat and the glasses <laughs> and the round. <laughs> because God forbid you. So, what happened to his dad? Did his dad die? He said he never stayed away from oh, with his face. I'll sit down. Those are some velvet pants. How the hell do you know? They fail my test in a second. If you could trust a girl and she's good enough to marry, she's gotta pass the test. The test is, you take a girl like that, you take her for a ride in your car. You pull right alongside of it, you get the attention of the driver. Now, at the same time, you put your hand behind this fucking broad's head, and you start pushing her head down firmly between your legs. Oh, my God. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Now, if this girl goes down on the old garage wall, knowing that that guy in the truck is watching it, then she's a pig and she can't be trusted. <laughs> <laughs> they throw their hair over their ear, they didn't before. Believe me, they're fucking pros. <laughs> I mean, this guy, th this kid looks like he could be Sean Penn's, not Sean Penn, the, uh... He played young Joe Pesci in Goodfellas. Okay, they, that, that started. might be where I remember him from, because yeah. I'm going, he looks like somebody. Yeah. You can't dodge me forever! <laughs> uh, Dad's still alive. Oh, I just noticed, like, the... Look how much they look alike. I know. Like the mold. The, the place that they were sitting in front of it said Deuce is Wild. Yeah. Remember the movie with Steven Dorff, Deuce is Wild? I wonder if that's, they're Maybe. tied in together. It might be a real place, I don't know. Well, I meant like the two movies. I wonder oh, yeah. if they're somehow oh, tied in together. I don't know if I've ever seen that movie. Oh, it's great. Uh-oh. Want to go to the with me tomorrow night? She thinks he's cute. He thinks she's cute. Hello, Joe. Hey. Yeah, why can't you call me she? Everybody calls me she. Can I go to the fights tomorrow? Can I let you go tomorrow? I love how the music is above the talking. Yeah. What's more important? To him, he wants to get some. Yeah, they've been eye-fucking for about four miles. Yep. <laughs> and they're still going at it. Oh, one last eye fuck. I'm fucking dead when I catch you, you piece of shit. See, come here. What's the matter with this kid? Get I mean, what's the matter with this kid? He owes me money. 
Hit him with a fucking bat. I come all over the fucking block. <laughs> Sometimes hurting somebody ain't the answer. First of all, is he a good friend of yours? Nah, I don't even like him. Look at that Mustang. There's Mustangs all over. Look at it this way. Cost you $20 to get rid of him. He's never going to bother you again. He's never going to ask you for money again. He's out of your life for $20. You got off cheap. Forget it. Right. Yep. Yeah, I'm always right. You ever hear Machiavelli? Who? Machiavelli. It's a famous writer from 500 years ago. I can live anywhere I want to. You know why I live in this neighborhood? Availability. I want to stay close to everything. Because being on the spot, I can see trouble immediately. Trouble is like a cancer. You got to get it early. If you don't get it early, it gets it's too big wrong. and it kills you. That's why you got to cut it out. Mm -hmm. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. Is it better to be loved or feared? It's nice to be both, but it's very difficult. Friendships that are bought with money mean nothing. It's fear that keeps them loyal to me. Uh-huh. But the trick is not to be hated. That's why I treat my men good, but not too good. I give them too much, then they don't need me. Right. I give them just enough where they need me, but they don't hate me. Don't forget what I'm telling you. Hell's Angels? That's it. We'll be on our way. We ain't looking for trouble. Spoke like a gentleman. Give me a bit. Kind of like Hell's Angels. In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Hey! Oh, you again, huh? Wasn't very nice. Now he's got to leave. When the fuck we leave, all right? Get the fuck away from me. <laughs> I really don't think you guys want to mess with him. Nice, nice can't leave. leave. I will never forget the look on their faces. Their faces dropped. All their courage and strength was drained right from their body. But they knew that instant they made a fatal mistake. It's time they walked into the wrong bar. Yeah. Y'all about to get toe up. If you walk out of there at all. Oh, God. Oh. That, that guy got squished so hard it broke his back, I bet. Stand by me on the block. Oh. Oh, just beating the shit out of him. Drag him the fuck yeah. out. Come on. Look. It's oh. Jesus. In all. Oh, God, the back. I mean, just wailing on him. Oh, it's the wrong fucking neighborhood to show Good up in. God. Hey, you motherfucker. Look at me. I'm the one who did this to you. Remember me. That ruined my whole fucking life. Tony. Jeez. Oh, I want to pet that dog. Look, it's so the cute. Ten commandments of love. The Ten Commandments of Love. I love a good beat down set to a love song. It's good stuff. I mean... Take a look at this gun right here. Why does that one on the left look kind of like Danny DeVito? Oh, what the fuck? What the fuck what is the wrong fuck? with you? Don't ever do that. Now let me... He look... No, not Danny DeVito. Uh... My cousin Vinny. Joe Pesci. Yeah. Yeah, he played young Joe Pesci in Goodfellas. That one on uh -huh. the left? You saw him in that playing okay. young Joe Pesci. Are you fucking stupid? You're going to make this whole place hot and get us all fucking pinched. Stay over here. Don't move. All these. Stay right there. Sonny. You hear what I say? Get the fuck out of here. Get over here. You think you're a tough guy with these guns? I see more guys with guns wet to bed than anything. Sonny, you don't understand. No, I do understand. This shit is not for you, and those fucking kids are going to get you in trouble. Yeah, but they're my I, friends, you know that. They're jerk-offs. Yeah, they're not your friends. Look at me. Jerk-offs. Jerk and Slick is the biggest jerk-off. Don't do what I do. This is my life. I Don't do, do what I do, do what I say. Jerk-offs. Wanna go fight with me tomorrow? I like to come and everything, but it's just that I already told my father I'd go with him. Listen, Sonny, we'd like you to come sit down at the ring. He's had a couple of seats for you. Tell him thanks, but we're good where we are. Tell Sonny thanks anyway, but we're good where we are. I'll bring you over here. The first thing you want to do is go down with them. Well, then go with them. Do you want to sit here he with you and no. you with them? How do you think that makes me feel? Sorry if I hurt you, Dad. Everything I've been telling you. I wanted to talk to her, but she was with her friends and I was with mine. He's got the hots for her. Somebody is. How's she not watching where she's going? How's she not gonna fall? Like, look, watch where you're stepping. You might fall. Come on, see. No, I can't go, but I got a test. I got a I don't know. We were alone for the first time, and I knew I had to say something to her. This chance might never come again. I said to myself, she must have an exotic name like Monique or Danielle. I'm Jane. 
Jane, that's it? That's your name? That's a great name. I love that name. Little island next to it that looks like it's getting kicked. Well, mm -hmm. that's this one. I like Italians. You do? Mm-hmm. Wait, I was just waiting for my brother. Sometimes we walk home together. If it's no problem. I could walk you home. I live down Webster Avenue. Is that all right? That's no problem. You have beautiful eyes. There it goes. Shabob, shabob. Yeah. That's better. He is so flustered. So flustered. You're not saying stupid thing. You're doing okay. Hello, Jerome. Anello? Yeah. Got it. That's cool to see. Well, I like Hello, better. Tomorrow night, 6 o'clock. 6 o'clock. You're getting better. I just wanted to double check. Uh-oh. I don't think that was a good idea. Now he ain't gonna win, though. See, that kid reminds me of the kid in that movie Together, where they're making fun of the boy bands. Yeah. He reminds me of the young kid that passed away in that movie. Fuck. These fucking spooks came out of their own fucking neighborhood. Fuck these fucking niggas. Come on. Get the fuck out of the neighborhood. Cece, told you, your friends are no good. They're not good kids. Some not the ones to hang around with. Stay down! I'm not gonna hurt you. Stay down, man. I really don't want to hurt you. <laughs> Terrible. Get out of here, you crazy bastard. The bulls are coming running. Did I tell you Slick was nothing but trouble, huh? Yeah, but you know, he's my friend. Jerk off. He's your friend. No, I'm your friend, kid. You're letting yeah. yourself get caught up in this shit. These kids right. can hurt you. You gotta think for yourself. Talking about what's on your mind? Right. I met this girl. I like her and everything, but she, she ain't white. She's from Webster Avenue. She's a color bro. Yeah. You like this girl? I do, but I don't want to hear all the guys. I don't want to hear Fuck their mouths. kids. Exactly. Fuck them kids. The only thing that matters is what's good for you. You got to do what your heart tells you to do. Yo, why are you driving backwards? You only allowed three great women in your lifetime. Why are you driving backwards? I, but I, why, I need to know why you're driving backwards. Sometimes you get them all at once. Pause. Me? This is a very important speech, but yes, the, he drives backwards and they never explain it. And I think it's to keep mileage off of the car. Because your your odometer doesn't roll forward if you're going backwards. It doesn't count mileage that way. So I think he's doing it to keep the mileage down on the car. And he's only going like a block and a half from where he lives to his bar. So I, th I think that's why he's doing it. That's my only theory. I I've, It's never been explained. Okay. He's just different. Sonny's different. <laughs> you got that right. <laughs> Uh, this speech he's giving him is important. All right. Oh, I know. I, I can tell. Three, two, one, play. I had my three when I was 16. That happens. What are you going to do? Here's what you do. Tomorrow you borrow my car. You don't lend anybody your car. It's all right. I'm going to lend you my car. I want you to make a good impression. And then you give it the test. What, the Mario test? Mario. Mario's a fucking psycho. Why do you listen to the... <laughs> you give it a door test. What's the door test? All right, listen to me. Before you get out of the car, you lock both doors. You got the key... Put in the lock, open the door for her. Then you let her get in. Then you close the door for her. If she doesn't reach over, lift up that button for you. Dump her. Just like that? Listen Just to me, like kid. That. If she doesn't reach over, lift up that button for you. So you can get in. It means she's a selfish broad. And all you're seeing is the tip of the iceberg. You dump her, you dump her fast. Dump her? Four people failed the door test in my life. They were dumped immediately. <laughs> Okay, but how are you gonna lock doors in a convertible? You okay? No. Were you there? No, I wasn't there. My brother's in a car. I told him I was going out with an Italian, so he came along. Believe me, I didn't touch him. Okay, we'll see. We'll get this straight right now. Yeah, that's him. So it was him. I'm positive it was him. Please don't believe him. I swear to God. Anything, Jane, believe me. I'm you telling you to believe me. You lied to me. You just told me you weren't there. You fucking help. Fucking bullshit, lying? man. You know I didn't do anything. You know it was the other guy. I tried to it fucking help you. you. It was you, man. You fucking repay me like this? Okay. Fucking I didn't see. fucking do anything. Yes, you did. Fuck you, you fucking nigga. You see what I'm talking about? You see what I'm talking about? Just like the rest of them. Oh, I guess he won't be going out with her now. But that guy's a little punk because 
C was trying to help him. He was like, dude, I don't want to hurt you. I don't want to. Stop. But he did immediately lie to her, too. He did. And I wasn't there. Bullshit. Yeah. How come you're back so fast? Listen, the keys are in the car. I gotta go. See, you sure? Come on. He just wants to go home and cry in his pillow and maybe rub one out. I mean, he's a teenage boy. What are you doing driving Sonny's car? What are you talking about? What do you mean, what am I talking about? I just saw saw you driving Sonny's car. I don't want you driving his car. Don't lie. Sonny, trust me. That man can't trust anybody. The sooner you know that, the better. Mm. Tell you, people don't respect him. They fear him. There's a big difference. I don't know. The saddest thing in life is wasted time. I don't want to hear this. They tried to give me a better life, and that's what I'm trying to do. What better life? We don't even own a car. We ain't got money. We ain't got nothing. Don't take it out of me because you're a bus driver. The working man is a sucker. Where is his mom? Probably working a late shift at the diner. Let's go look. Come on, get in the car. We're gonna go fuck him up. In the car. Don't do it. Sonny. You picked up my car. Where did you go? I drove around a little and then I went to go pick up Jane. Why? Jane, was there really a Jane? We lifted up the hood. There was something on the engine. It didn't go off. Now you tell me. You tell me how the fuck that got on there. And where did you go in my car? Honey, please. Don't fucking lie to me. I didn't do anything. I swear to God, why would I want to hurt you? You've been like a father to me. There was a car bomb on the engine. And it didn't go off. It could have killed C. But he thinks C planted it. Hey! Well, who Hello, planted it? You drive your bus and get the fuck out of here. You drive, drive my bus and Next time, find out what's going on before you open your mouth. Oh, see? Come in! Oh, you're about to get in so much trouble. Don't worry about it. We borrowed it. Yeah, sure you did. Give me those fucking niggas a cop, No reason! Get teach those mother... No. I'm gonna kill Rafi. What the fuck are you doing? Yeah, what? Genius? What the fuck I'm doing? No, you don't, you little punk. They were all smiling. Oh my god. I was smiling too, but I was dying inside. I wanted out. Let me out. I'm afraid. I'm a chicken. No, let me out. I don't want to be here. You guys are fucking idiots. How about that? They would say I got no heart. I kept hearing my father's voice in my head. Don't blow it, son. These people will hurt you, son. Don't waste your talent, son. Then I kept hearing Sonny's voice. Be careful, C. Don't yep. lose it, C. Yep. Keep your head, C. Yep. Somebody pulled the chain. And I was going yep. down the fucking toilet. You with the wrong crew. You're at a red light. That's when you say, let me out. Yeah. Good. Yeah, you guys are up to no good. I can't believe it. After all this time, you don't even trust me? You don't even believe me that there even was a Jane. Don't you think it could have been in the car when I picked it up? And that mean Jane could have got killed? Never thought that, did you? Don't you trust point. anybody? No. It's a horrible way to live. For me, it's the only way. Not for me. Not for me. I love the white walls on all these cars. Yeah, that's a badass I fucking one. love it. El DeVille, Coop DeVille. Yeah. The fire mulling yacht chick was just here looking for you. She just went around the corner? Not two minutes ago. If you hurry up, you can catch her. Come here. Come here. I told you. Sonny, you want me to go get him? No, leave him alone. My brother told me the truth. You did try to help him. Told you. I'm glad you understand. Oh, you looking at Mind your own damn business. Get back in your house. So <laughs> <laughs> I right. let him stare. Then I think you're beautiful. Oh, Can I have a kiss? Sure. I've, she looks familiar too. That's not a kiss. I'm so proud. Well, he's never done it before, so. Do you know how to make sauce? What? You know, sauce for macaroni. <laughs> okay. Shut up. <laughs> your brother, where's your car? Give me the keys. Come on, we gotta go. Sweeter than the taste. She passed. Yes! <laughs> Adorable. She passed. Are you one of the great ones. Oh no. Oh no. These guys are assholes. The Why would you machine. shoot up a perfectly good pinball machine? Yeah, these little punks are assholes. Fuck these guys. 
Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh shit. He's loud! Oh shit. Oh damn. Y'all better stop the car. Oh, son of a bitch. Oh, they're dead. They're dead. They're gone. See? And he was going to be in that car. That's fucked up. See? Told you those kids were up to no good. Yeah, they are all barbecue. Sometimes when I think about it, I don't know if I should have been happy or sad. Happy because I was alive. Or yeah, sad because that's... my friends were dead. But one thing I knew was I was grateful because of Sonny. Sonny. Listen, I'm sorry. Go. I had to tell him. I mean, he's running a long time. Thanks, Sonny. He saved my life. With my mom, my grandma's still sick. I'll give you the 20 next week. Forget the 20. Good job. Don't worry about the 20. Where Sonny is? Every time I hear this song, I think about License to Drive when they that that old guy steals the grandpa's car yeah. and he's listening to it, the, the wrecking <laughs> the caddy. He wasn't smiling. All I could see was the sky, and nobody could see him but me. Oh my god! It's a rough night. That was a that was a hard night. The guy that killed Sonny was the son of the man that he killed eight years earlier in front of my house. Oh. I know one thing for sure. Acting, I would never be able to be somebody that you put in a coffin. Mm -mm. Nope, don't do it. it. Freaks me out. It was just like Sonny said it would be. Nobody cares. Nobody cares. I'm sorry, C, but we gotta close up now. Listen, Jerry, could you just give me a couple more minutes? How you doing, Sonny? Not so good, huh? I was gonna say. She passed the test. That's what I wanted to tell you. She might be my first great one. And I'm gonna go out with her. Thanks for helping me. I wanna thank you for saving my life. I never got a chance to tell you. They all died. Slick, Aldo, Mario, Ralphie. Sorry, I thought I was alone. I'm just thinking out loud. It's okay. It's understandable. Speaking of Joe Pesci. See this man there, he's a great man. He saved my life. You Lorenzo the bus driver's kid? See, si, right? He saved my life too once. You don't remember me, do you? Many years ago, in front of your house. Yeah, the baseball bat. You were the guy that got hit with the baseball bat, right? Yeah, I remember. I was there. I saw the whole thing. I know, kid. But I'm gonna be in the neighborhood now, taking care of things for a while. I think I'm gonna give the bar a rest for a while, but thanks anyway. Was that fight really over a parking space? No. Of course not. Don't forget, you need anything, you come to the bar and you see me. Sonia, I want to thank you for saving my kid's life. I never hated you, I guess it's... He was jealous. I was mad at you because you made him grow up so fast. He was jealous. May God have mercy on your soul. Sonia, did you hear that? My father didn't hate you. Nobody cares, huh? You were wrong about that one. Wasted talent. See you around, Sonny. Kid's been practicing that for years. This part always made me cry because... Not because it's a funeral, but because De Niro shows up to, for his son. Sonny, my father, always said that when I get older, I would understand. Well, I finally did. I learned something from these two men. I learned to give love and get love unconditionally. You just have to accept people for what they are. And the choices that you make will shape your life forever. This is just another Bronx tale. You have now seen a Bronx tale. I love it. <laughs> that was way good. Way good. Yeah. Way good. It, it feels like you're there in the 60s. It, it like, did. It did. And I it's mean, a it's a it's a gangster it's very, movie with De Niro, and he's not the gangster in it. It's right. Amazing. It's amazing. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's a very well written, very well told story. Um, very very good, very good. Kept me interested the entire time. I, I don't think I said a whole lot, but I mean. It was good. It had its moments. It wasn't all bang, bang, shoot them up. It had some comedy in it. You know, it had some action. It was, it was good. I really enjoyed that one. That one's going to be, that'll probably wind up at this point right now. Like my favorite gangster movie of all time is Scarface. So this one's going to be a close second. 
at at this point. Yeah, I, I, I haven't this movie seen and Goodfellas right next to each other in my mind. Goodfellas like, was okay. Like it was it was good. It was okay, but for me this one is better. Okay. I I think I like the storytelling of it better. It it just and The reason it came up again it's been on the list, but you mentioned Renaissance Man, we were looking at movies, and I thought, well, that's good, but I don't want you to meet Lilo Brancato in that movie. I want you to meet him in this movie, his first movie. And the reason I say that is because, like, a week ago, I watched a documentary about him being uh, released from prison. Uh, was involved with some drugs and bad things after he had some success as an actor as a young man. Okay. And he kind of went down the path of a gangster for a while in real life. Oh, and okay. Was it was a cop killing? The cop got killed Ooh. during a drug situation, and it, he didn't kill the man, but he was there and he was part of it. And he went to jail and did his time, and he's now out. And he just—I always thought he was a really good actor, especially after this. I was like, this guy. Uh, he was. Great. He and was great. Especially in this. for his first movie, like. And that he looked so much like De Niro, and like it just fit. Like yeah, he looked like he could have been his kid, or the little kid grown up. Like it's, it's yeah. really well done. Like, yeah, like he looked like he could have been his son. Yeah. And uh, anyway, so that documentary was awesome, and I'm glad to see that he's doing better in life. And, and being, Chaz, being I've seen him in other things for sure. I can't remember yeah, Chaz right off been in the a bunch the top of, stuff. of my head, but. I, I do know I've seen him in other stuff. I think he's in Chicago, that, that Renee Zellweger Chicago movie. Did you see that? No. Hey, I mean, I know he's in a lot of stuff, though. Yeah. So, anyway. And he normally plays the heavy. No, normally is the bad guy. Yeah, he's... But he does it very well. Like, ty- he's typecast perfectly Yeah. For, for that. Why he's not in Goodfellas, I don't know. But he's in, like, every other fucking gangster movie from... The 80s and 90s. Anyway. I'm so glad you liked it. This is thanks thanks for hanging favorites. out. You guys are awesome. We'll see you next time. Don't forget to click smash all of the things. And look at all the lines in my hands as I look yes. around. Yes. <laughs> yes. See ya.